Okay, I thought I've been getting quite a bit of response to the jamming issue video that I, I posted. A um, little background about me. I have eight FDM printers, a fiber laser, a CO2 laser, a resin printer, so I'm not new to this stuff. Um, I have less, much less expensive printers that have no issues with jamming. I think Quiddy makes a good product. I think they fell short in some of their designs. Um, I've tried to work with Quiddy to show them what I've done to help reduce the jamming issues, especially on the high temp extruder. I don't know if they'll they'll take those suggestions and do anything with them, uh, but they have. I will say they have been very good about sending replacement parts. So they've sent me. Well, they sent me a heated block and the, the cooling block replacement, and then I was still having issues, so they sent me a brand new high temp extruder with everything included. They've also sent me a brand new low temp extruder. Um, I recently had a problem with my heated bed plug. The, the solder joints failed, and again, it was just an issue with not having strain relief on the cable and the plug. So they've replaced that for me and they then they say to use a zip tie so they sent me a longer cable but anyways with the low temp extruder all i'm using this printer for is tpu i would suggest trying to keep your temperatures below 235 c and you should not have issues i haven't had any any issues since i've been doing that um, so i haven't even had to use the new extruder they sent me with a high temp extruder, I think there's an issue. One, it's not all metal like I think it should be. But you know, it has the plastic tube inside there. And what happens when it gets too hot, it shrinks down and causes jams actually in the tubing itself. Uh, this actually goes all the way to the, the nozzle, which I don't, I don't know, it doesn't make any sense to me. But anyway, what I've done, to try to shorten this video up, is I've added a cooling fan in the place where the low temp extruder would use it for a part cooling fan. I took a regular, it's a 24 volt fan that you have to get, it's 50 millimeters, and I'm blowing air across, kind of at the point where the high temp area and the low temp area come together. I'm blowing more air, cooling air through there, and ever since I've done this fan conversion, I have had no jamming and I've printed several six seven eight hour prints with nylon which is a high temp material and they were very successful prior to doing this the same part i had like 10 failures in a row they get to different part different points in the part and it would fail from jamming so it's really simple it's a 50 millimeter fan it's like a 12 to 16 millimeter bolt if i have it around here somewhere oh here's one 24 volt fan Make sure that the air is blowing towards the extruder. You can only mount it in one of the holes because it doesn't line up, but basically screw the fan on. They have these holes that are pre-tapped, four of them. Uh, but the spacing's not the same. So I just use one and make it tight enough that it stays in place. Once you get it in, then there's room on the other side. So if you have a bolt that's too long, a screw that's too long, there's clearance in there for it. You just have to be at least 12 millimeters, I think, to get through the fan. So that's it. Kind of square it up a little bit. It's not going to go anywhere. And then, you know, you just route the, and I think I just uh, left the plug underneath there, darn it. Make sure that your plug is not underneath the fan like I just did. So, okay, tighten it back down. And then you're just gonna route, and Kitty's knocking the camera. This is, stop, stop. Anyways, you'll route the fan wire underneath here, and then you're gonna plug into this second from the left open space, and that's your part cooling fan voltage. I believe these are 24 volt, <clears throat> so make sure you get a 24 volt fan. I, I measured the voltage months ago and I forget what it was now, but it, I, I think it's 24. Hence the reason why I ordered 24 volt fans. You can do a better job routing the wires, do what you need to do to keep them out of the way. And then you can either, in your G-code, 
when you're setting up your slicing, turn the part cooling down to like 60%, and then this will come on immediately when you start printing. Or you can do it before your uh, print starts on the actual printer itself. You come over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well or not. Me... So while you're printing, you can go into here to settings and then go to turbine. And then you can turn that on there. Just put it to, I would do like 60, 70%. Hit enter. Right now I'm printing and it's actually, the turbine's on because it needs cooling, but. Yeah, that's how I've solved, solved my issues with this high-tech extruder. If you have any questions, let me know.